I'd like to now introduce our keynote speaker, nuestra oradora principal, Maria del Rosario Castro. Rosie's mother, Doña Victoria, came from Mexico with a fourth grade education. She cleaned houses to earn a living, and she raised a daughter here with us today, a daughter of uncommon courage and action. In turn, Rosie raised two sons. Congressman Joaquin Castro and the Honorable Julian Castro, whose political life and accomplishments are based on Rose, Rosie's fundamental teaching. Stand up for our values. It is so wonderful to see all of you here. And I am reminded that it wasn't that long ago when my children were younger that I was sitting where you are, trying to learn everything that I could to make sure that my children had the best opportunities to learn and the best opportunities to be able to create a better life. I'm gonna take a little personal privilege right now because I know Kuka didn't want people talking about her, but I have to say that someone told me, uh, and I hadn't thought about it, but someone told me not too long ago, this will be Kuka's last parent institute as the head of IDRA. I thought about the very difficulty of losing a leader of Kuka's quality. But I wanna say thank you, Kuka, for all the years uh, of service that you've given this community. We appreciate it. One, what you're doing today, like I started out saying, is so important because it's part of lifelong learning. And that is something that as your kids see you doing that, they think, one, education is important. Education never stops and education is transformative. Always communicate with your kids about that learning because that's the kind of thing that will get them thinking about how exciting it is to learn. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that our kids believe in lifelong learning because the future that is upon us is going to rely heavily, heavily on that ability to learn all our lives and to adjust, to be flexible, to be able to grasp something new. And that's very important. Through our, throughout our lives, there are times that we need to reinvent ourselves. So if you teach your kids now to always be on the lookout for learning opportunities, they will do very well. Another thing that, that I felt very strongly about besides communicating and make sure that the kids will always communicate to you about whatever's going on in their lives. And today we got to see some of the workshops briefly, but they're great workshops. We teach our kids early on in their life to set goals and to think about goals. But you also then develop, how would you change the world? You ask your student, you ask someone who has stated a goal, how would you do that? What are the steps? But if you develop that ability in your kids to set goals now, and to watch you set goals, you're going to have a child who's always thinking ahead, who's always planning, who's always ready for those opportunities. They're listening to everything that you say and that you do. And so the best teacher, you were their first teacher, but you're their always teacher. Education is transformative. Learning changes your life not just your income, but your spirituality, your health. And as a lifelong learner and teaching kids to be a lifelong learner, uh, you really help them to be ready for the future. That education is the way, that education can change lives, then they will look for opportunities. Because when you lack that education, that opportunity for education, then your life doesn't quite turn out the way that you would like. My mother was pulled out at third grade from school. My godmother once told me that her dream had been, my mother's dream had been to be a journalist and see her name in lights. She never got to do that, but my sons have done it for her. You being here today is a gift that you give not only to yourself, but to your children. You give your children 
as advocates, you make sure that no one, no one can do to them anything that is not respectful. And if anybody tries, you're going to organize, you're going to go to the school board, you're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that no one continues that way. That ability to dream, and that's an important ability. You don't want to ever see a child that has no dream. If you've ever seen that, it's a very difficult thing. And so I believe that all of us are dreamers. And I hope that your dreams for your children and for yourself will continue to be supported by organizations like IDRA. Thank you, good luck, and if our family can ever do anything for you, please let us know.